traffic lights versus roundabouts that age old discussion well we're going to take it to another level in city skylines to making use of some traffic spawners which one is going to be able to take the most traffic stay tuned to find out so how have i set up the test well i've just taken the san francisco map i flattened out a nice big area in the middle initially i was connecting to the outside of the map which is why we've got all these roads heading out but we don't need those for those of you that know how to use the developer mode and i have a video which will be linked on the screen you can go and check that out afterwards that gives us uh, access to this list here we press the home key and if we type in here traffic all the way down the bottom we have the traffic spawner and this is what the traffic spawner looks like well to click on one of these we've got a little box that spits out traffic and accepts traffic as well just a little note when you're setting up your traffic spawners for your test yourself it has to be placed against a road that actually allows traffic to come on and off of it if you place it up against a highway it won't snap and it won't work so the idea of this test is i have eight traffic spawners north south east and west and we are going to see how much traffic the humble traffic light four-way crossing setup will take work our way up through all the asymmetrical roads and the roundabouts as well and yeah get some figures and facts together on how good the traffic is in the game so that was an auto save let's have a quick sip of tea to start off with and let's hook some of these up so what i've done is i've disconnected the road down here uh, when we get to the roads connecting to our four-way roads you need to sort of set it up a little bit like this otherwise you'll get people doing u-turns at the end so if this has got a big enough angle you can then use this little symbol here there we go if i turn that off you've got a, a u-turn going straight back up again if we left click then they'll go straight up and down the road that's what they are for so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the normal roads these ones here we've got them set to parallel 0.5 and i'm just going to pause the game and we're going to bring that out to there, which will activate these two. And I'm just going to do that on all four sides. So that's one spawner spitting out traffic and one spawner receiving traffic on each side. And if we speed up the game, we'll know it's working because any second now, this one here should spit out some traffic to head off into the city. I think we just need to replace them down again. And then we'll get some cars coming out. And then I've removed the ones that are next to it as well. There we go. So we don't get any issues so i've done that on all four sides what i'm going to do is run this on full speed and it's really going to be a thing we're going to sort of see with our eyeballs there's no sort of mods for counting the traffic or anything like that and we're going to see how these work whether it can just keep up with it without backing up with a load of traffic so let's watch this oh and we're going to get that sometimes the u-turn thing there is no way of stopping that that i have found with just a normal four-way junction so yeah and also, of course, using the photo mode, we can speed this up to eight times. There we go. So we're going to run this for, yeah, I'll probably make it 30 seconds and let's see what happens. Okay, so we've definitely got traffic from all four directions. It's no problem at all. I know I had a little piece of road that was going the wrong way. I have fixed that. And yeah, keeping up with one from each direction is no problem at all. So what I think I'm going to do is... Pause the game there. We are going to just jump this right up from one to three in each direction. On each of the four, uh, four cardinal directions as well. So let me just do that so you'll see on this side from time to time that this one will spawn some traffic and then it'll go up and go into one of these um, and that's the same happening on this side if they're all on the straight line this one will spawn traffic it will drive down the road and then go into one of these but i've split them out onto their own road and i'm actually hoping yeah so that's working this is working yeah so now they can't back up and go into another one all the traffic is going down which is exactly what we want to see so i'm going to put this setup on the other directions as well there we go that's all three uh, all four sides are set up with three spawners on their own road and that should work a lot better we could even stop the parking on these roads so yeah i'm thinking of more things as we go along so if we just pop in a wide sidewalk on all of these then they are not going to park there we go once you get down here onto the non-parking road anyway 
And then that will be the maximum traffic we can get from these three on each side coming in. So let's uh, see what that does once I've put the wide sidewalks down. We've got it cranked to eight speed. Let's give this one 30 seconds and see whether it can cope with it. I'm pretty sure a standard four-way traffic light will be fine. Now, you will notice that there are vehicles that are despawning. Now, I have seen that in the game, and it's normally down to the fact that if you mess around with the road and then it thinks, oh, I can't get to where I needed to before, it just sort of breaks, like if you delete a road and move a road. I don't know the technical ins and outs of these traffic spawners, so it may be down to that that we'll see the odd car or truck are despawning. But as the game goes on, let's see how that works. But so far this one is doing okay right we've upgraded we've now got six traffic spawners coming in on each direction so let's see how that turns out so i have mentioned to colossal order if possible could we have a no u-turn uh, item that we could put down to really stop those trucks swinging around but yeah, we'll, we'll see whether that gets added. They're obviously working on a lot of performance things at the moment. It is getting pretty busy. But from what I can see, it's doing absolutely fine. Maybe we need to double it again to 12. Right, decided to go for 14. And I think we're possibly reaching the max. And we are seeing vehicles despawning. Which is a little bit disappointed, but like we said, we are in dev UI mode. We are using things that shouldn't be used in the game. And there's not many that are despawning, if rarely any at all. But we can see if we just zoom out a bit, that the traffic is really starting to back up. So, yeah, I would say... Interesting, we've got more traffic coming from this way than... These two ways, more traffic than these two ways, which is interesting. But yeah, we've definitely reached the limit. So what I would like to try here, we slow things down again, is, yeah, we've got the traffic symbol, is how much different an asymmetrical road will make. So we've just got two lanes in and two lanes out. So if we get a five lane asymmetrical road and drag that into the junction, there we go. So we've now got a dedicated right-hand turn on every, on every way in and out. There we go. And then if we max this back up to eight again and just see whether that can clear out the traffic from all the way back down these two lanes probably very quickly there we go when the lights go lots more people getting through so definitely asymmetrical roads are helping on a traffic light well what is going to be the max amount of traffic spawners with asymmetrical roads on a four-way traffic light right now we have 20 coming in from each direction so once again we'll whack this up to eight speed keep an eye on this whoop zoom in and see whether asymmetrical roads and traffic lights can keep up with 20. right we're up to 25 and i'm noticing people are swinging around over here which is something that i'm afraid i can't stop because again we've gone from a road with the median to the asymmetrical road with the gap in the middle and that is going to affect some of the yeah, some of the testing that we're doing here this one they're not doing it so much i think what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of jiggery pokery in this piece of road here. So I think what we'll be able to do is if we upgrade all of these to asymmetrical roads, uh, we've already got here a no right-hand turn, so they shouldn't swing around. And then that should mean that they just continue all the way down here once they've sorted themselves out. Let me just upgrade all of these as well, going in the same direction. So that's that way and that way. That one we've done this one here that way and that way and then hopefully we don't see anybody swinging around here because we don't have asymmetrical roads with a barrier in the middle and i definitely think we've reached the maximum of the standard four-way traffic lights excellent that's what i want to see look at that gridlock in city skylines 2 brilliant and there doesn't seem to be 
any traffic despawning now, which is good as well. So I don't know why we were getting that before. Maybe it just takes the game a while to work out how these traffic spawners work and that sort of thing when you place new ones down. But look at that. We've reached the limit. Okay, so could we add a larger asymmetrical road in here? We've got the five lane. If we add in a seven lane asymmetrical road, so we need to turn this option off here so we can sort of get it lined up. I mean, it's not going to match exactly, is it? So that's going to give us extra roads coming out as well as extra roads coming in. And then I'm going to do the same all the way down like we've done before to solve that little issue. There we go. So a load of traffic just despawned because we've changed the road. So what are we getting now? We're getting two right-hand turns, although the middle ones and the left one, unfortunately, as well, is being used as a straight on. But we might just get more traffic now going through. Let's bump this up to eight speed and just give this a little bit of time to run through. Oh, it's getting hectic. And I did see some despawning there. Mm, okay, okay. Well, well, we'll see how things go. Let's just zoom out a little bit. I mean, whoops, it is sort of keeping up with it all, isn't it? Even though I've just said some stuff is despawning. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's just cleared it all out now. So interesting. So the larger asymmetrical road with a load of traffic and standard traffic lights that can keep up as well brilliant i mean it's getting a bit hectic in the middle but yeah it's still doing okay so let's now switch over to roundabouts and see whether we can run the same test with those right so we're going to have 10 spawners going in to start off with i'm also adding three more on the output side because that's sort of backing up a little bit as well so obviously their ability to take in traffic is better than their ability to spit out traffic there we go excellent that should do for now and then what i want to do is just remove all the traffic from the game so i'm just going to delete there we go a junction uh, a road a segment back from there run it for a second and eventually everything will just disappear okay four lane roads we're going to pop in a small roundabout and see whether that can cope with 10 spawners let's whack this up to eight speed and see how it goes yeah 10 spawners and just the two roads coming in and out we're seeing traffic despawning although it's about to catch up on these three sides how are we doing down here not too much down here either so maybe once it's got rid of the initial backlog it can keep up which would be pretty impressive if it does i mean that's not too bad at all, is it? That is not too bad at all. We've got no turning around, no U-turns at the end. We are seeing a little bit of despawning, but like we said before, that seems to settle down after a while. Let's just give it another minute. Yeah, it's struggling. It is struggling a bit. It backs up from time to time. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pop in an asymmetrical road. So we're going to go for the first one, the five-lane asymmetrical road with the extra lane going into the roundabout like so and we're going to do that on all four sides there we go we're probably going to lose the park cars now let's see how that boink, works out on the small roundabout so that has pretty much kept up with that no problem at all so having that dedicated right hand turn on every side is just making that one absolutely fly right let's up the spawners right we've got 15 spawners on each side so that's 60 all together with the very small roundabout with the asymmetrical roads let me run it for a bit until the despawning stops and we'll see how it can keep up yeah it seems to be going okay let's uh, up it again right now we have 20 spawners on each side for a total of 80 on the small roundabout with the asymmetrical roads coming in i'm thinking that this one is going to be a problem let's just keep an eye on this for a second or two i mean it's getting pretty hectic in the middle again isn't it chaotic but 
when it does sort of clear, <laughs> whether it's through desporting cars or things just go, although it gets to that point again where I'm not seeing... I mean, I've not been able to look at every single car all at the same time, but they're not despawning again. So once again, I think it just takes the game a few seconds to work out that there's new traffic spawners, new ways in and out. I just saw a truck despawn, and I just saw a load despawn. Oh, it's so frustrating. Can't wait for traffic manager to come out with no despawning at all. But I think we're reaching the limit. Let's just zoom out and have a bit of a look. We're reaching the limit, aren't we? If it starts stopping in the middle and needs despawning to get going again, I think we've reached the limit. Okay, well, what we can do... Just to keep it on the same amount of spawners, but let's up the size to medium roundabout and see how that goes. I don't think this one's doing too bad. Let's zoom out. We're getting a bit of backing up in a couple of places. But overall, going okay. What I don't understand is why it despawns sometimes, but not other times. Like we saw before, didn't we, that it absolutely backed up with traffic. Yeah, I'd say this one's struggling now. If it's got a despawn to keep things moving, that to me is like a, that's it. You can't do it. Let's go up to the large roundabout. And see how that one does. Still on 8 speed. Yeah, we're starting to get to that chocker block. We need to despawn vehicles to keep going. Alright, well, we've got one more. We've got the very large roundabout. Let's give that one a run through. Yeah, again, pretty much going okay on this one. Everything's moving through. We're getting a little bit of stopping here and there. The odd little bit of despawning. But, you know, I mean, if everybody's despawning, it's the same rules for everybody, isn't it? I mean, it, you know, despawning on every size of roundabout. But that is managing to keep up. The one thing we didn't try on the smaller roundabouts, which I'm going to try here, is that's the five-lane asymmetrical. Let's upgrade this to the seven-lane Boink. there we go and see how much of a difference this makes and i think we're going to get more of a benefit with the larger roundabouts on this one as well because you've got more lanes on there let's get that lined up in the middle there we go give that a second for all the ai to kick in and realize what's going on and so, oh man look at that all the traffic backing up everywhere and then we'll see how this one goes Yeah, we've got no problems here. That's made the world a difference. Why don't we go down the sides of the roundabouts and see whether that will help out these smaller roundabouts as well. Yeah, we can definitely see this one starting to struggle. So there we go. Right. So I've popped this back to the traffic lights and we've got 25 spawners now. So we know that 20 spawners with the largest roundabout with the biggest asymmetrical road is the maximum. Can we go even more with the traffic lights? Because we didn't actually see the max that that could get to. So let's just run this for a second and see how it fares. I mean, usually a good judge of what's happening is if you can sort of see the traffic light changing and everybody getting through before it changes again. That like that truck there was the last one. He got through no problem. These cars here, they're getting through. Yeah, let's up it to 30 spawners. So now we are up to 120 spawners in total. Oh man, let's let this run for a little bit and see how it goes. This We could be starting to reach the limits of what normal traffic lights with asymmetrical roads could cope with. I'll have a quick sip of tea because of the autosave if I have to. 
Do you know, I'm really looking forward to Traffic Manager 2.0 or whatever it ends up being called, where we can get proper time traffic lights, where they don't just all go at once and get in each other's way. That is just going to be fantastic. Right, we're getting to the point now where, yeah, vehicles are despawning. Look, to keep the traffic going because it is backing up a heck of a lot. So somewhere between 25 and less than 30 is the maximum amount of traffic we can put on a standard junction like this. Now, what I was thinking of doing was maybe adding a few little slip roads uh, onto the side. If we take something like this to help when people are turning left. So even if we just sort of went, we can get it at 45 degree angles back here somewhere. 45, 49, 44. I mean, that is not too bad. And see how that helps out. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Now, what we don't want is these roads turning right out of here. So if we left click and say no right turn on each of these so they can only be used for going left which is what we want and then we don't want any traffic lights in any of these there we go uh, to get the proper asymmetricalness we could drop this one down to be what would that be three minus one uh, sorry four minus one that'd be down to three so a three and a two which would be that one. So then hopefully we'll get some proper dedicated lanes and things and it doesn't mess anything else up. I've got a sneaky feeling I'm going to have to go around again and stop all the <laughs> lanes turning in the wrong direction. Let's just wait until this truck goes. Oh no, it seems to have kept what I've asked it to do. All right, well, let's just have a look at that and see whether this can now take it from... Yeah, look, these left-hand turns are going pretty quick. Although, unfortunately... Oh, no, yeah, we've got a dedicated lane. Yep, yep. That's going okay. That's what we want. So can it get rid of all of this build-up of traffic? We're getting that weird thing where they won't enter a block junction, which is always something we had with City Skylines 1. And we're still... Yeah, people are still turning left here, even though there's this option for turning left. But that might just be previous traffic that's already left so let me just maybe clear this out there we go a little bit easier to see what's going on what we should be able to do now as well is stop left hand turns on these roads so they will actually there we go use the slip road instead excellent that's good right let's hook this back up again there we go very good so let's let this run and see whether this can keep up Right, okay, now what we're getting is people turning right up here down to these little side lanes, which we don't want. Um, so we can also do something about that. We can say no right-hand turn there. There we go. So we don't get any silly driving around. Excellent. Okay, it took a second or two for everybody to stop doing it. Although we're, I'm looking down here, we're still getting some cars that are doing it, which is a little bit annoying. And a load of despawned. Again, it might be a case of the game's got to work out what's going on. Let's just keep an eye on things. I mean, it's not helping it keep up, really, is it? Everybody's still despawning to get through. Yeah, I think everybody's obeying the traffic rules now. And we've actually got rid of the line of traffic from up there and from down here as well. There doesn't seem to be many cars coming from this direction. Oh, <laughs> well, that would explain why. And here they all come. They're all <laughs> stuck behind somebody. Yeah, thank you for that game. So this side is okay. Yeah, it's all coming through. This side is backing up. That side's backing up. This side's okay. Yeah, some of them are turning around, which I think is happening on all four sides anyway. There's not much we could do about that. What else could we do to improve this? Okay, what I've done is I've put this back to the asymmetrical road, the same as this one, the three and four, which means we don't get our dedicated, if we look down here, we don't get a dedicated left, but not many go straight on, and some that do, it's not too much of a problem. And it just means we've got three, uh, sorry, four lanes of traffic now coming out of here. And instead, we get a dedicated right cutting across the other traffic. 
and that seems to have helped this one and this one now the opposite two are struggling but i think let's just leave this one a while and just see whether overall this could help now we can see this one is going down although we are getting to the point of despawning traffic again let's give it a chance and we're also getting park cars which um i hadn't put any sort of sidewalks on any of these roads just to you know the wide sidewalks to stop the parking just a visual thing you can just straight away see what's traffic and what is it now we'll notice these top two have gone down a lot so if these bottom two can also go down this one has then we'll stop getting the despawning and it can keep up let's just see what happens with this section down here now i'm just wondering whether yeah look a lot of people taking the dedicated uh, left turn which is good i'm just wondering whether now that we sort of got to this point where depending on i think you know the time of day people are going to be doing i don't know whether the rush hour thing still kicks in when there's no um places to actually live or work but this is actually keeping up with it now on three sides and it seems to sort of change on foresight. This is keeping up okay. So, could we add in the middle here a small little roundabout? And take out the traffic lights altogether. Let's give everybody a chance to think what the heck's going on. The road suddenly changed beneath them. Yeah, I think what we're seeing is this sort of random randomness that's thrown in uh, to people's driving. Which a lot of people say, oh, it's terrible AI. But like that truck that just cut across from up here and block it and other ones doing it as well that sort of randomness that's thrown in is very realistic people cutting you up at the last minute taking the wrong lane on the roundabout and i think that i think the fact they've sprinkled that in and once we start seeing hundreds and hundreds of cars on um, trucks and vehicles you're going to spot that even more so then it starts to look like bad traffic ai that's how i'm sort of perceiving what's going on and I think we're probably going to see that when when and if Traffic Manager version 2 comes out. Um, by the way, I don't have any insider knowledge on that. I'm just sort of speaking off the top of my head. I bet there's going to be a tick box to turn off this randomness. Yeah, that roundabout isn't helping, is it? And then we're going to see a difference in the traffic AI. So do you like it more realistic? Let's go for a bigger one. Or do you like everybody sticking to the rules? That is the question, isn't it? I suppose. And I don't mind... The randomness sort of thrown in. Let's see how it's all going. Yeah, this is a little bit better. Although they, yeah, see, when they all come on and stop because someone's decided to cut them up. I don't mind that randomness. But what I do wish is trucks didn't despawn. Vehicles didn't despawn. What I've just realised is we've still got left-hand turns now up here that we've changed the road. So I want to cancel that, don't I? Uh, no left-hand turns. It won't let me turn these left-hand turns off. Oh, no, that is weird. Maybe if I put it on anyway, is it just a visual thing? Let's keep an eye and see whether people are going left but not using our little bypass road. I think we're reaching the limit of what the ai can do here it almost seems like nobody wants to use this lane even for going straight on they all sort of pull over and go somewhere else which is a little bit odd i'm gonna try the largest roundabout we're gonna oh actually we didn't do this one here did we let's give that one a try and just see how this one goes and you can almost see it on every side apart from this one this one here they're happy to stay in that lane and try and go on although they get round here let's watch this truck yeah he'll do it but people won't from here which is really strange and i don't know why if you're spotting something that i've done let me know but as far as i'm aware there's no reason why they can't use this to go straight on oh this white car he did okay so some are doing it this roundabout's still not cutting it let's Pop in this one. Don't forget we're more spawners than when we did the test before. Let's see if the super large roundabouts. I want them to go through, even with a little bit of traffic, but no despawning. That's the that's the goal. I 
I mean, I'm not seeing too much despawning, but it's going back a bit. Something I'm thinking that might help again is where this comes on here. We need an extra lane on this side. We've got the largest asymmetrical road uh, in here that we can. But then we've got this one, which gives you the extra, extra lane, which is what we want. So if we pop that in there, let's do that all the way back to there. Oh, yeah, we've got some turnaround. So we're going to have to just do a little bit of work on this one. So I'm not, no right hands, uh, no left, straight on. I think they'll both work it out between them. And then if we come down here, again, we want no lefts on this bit. Uh, no, we do want lefts on there. Sorry, carry on. want no lefts on this bit, which I don't think, again, will be visually apparent. And then what that means is that this lane here has its own lane. And then this lane coming through has its own lane as well, which is what we want. So let me just upgrade all sides. And there we go. We're getting the traffic symbols popping up. Vehicles are despawning. So even with all the asymmetrical roads, all the lane mathematics, a roundabout of this size cannot cope with 30 spawners. Well, we have a lot of other things we can test. And we're going to do that in our next episode, looking at all of these junctions here. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoy this type of video, leave a like so I know. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.